All right, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing, that kind of situation. So, what we're gonna talk about today is a little thing called the Gary Dean wash method. Well, that situation that I created in 2012 is definitely blowing the detailing world up and most people doing a rinseless wash do it in the sequence of events that I call the Gary Dean wash method. Now, the reason for this video is over the years I have heard, well, you can imagine, lots of stupid shit, but the bottom line is I wanna talk about two things, one of which is the Gary Dean wash method, and the other is how stupid people allow themselves to be. Now, one would think that before you open your mouth about something that you truly do not have any proof or don't have actually have any facts to back up the blabbing, that you would do some research and do your own due diligence to figure it out before you would spew all of the bullshit. However, people do not do their own due diligence to figure out what is a fact and what was actually just heard through the grapevine or from their friend, which is not a credible source anyway. So, I hear a lot of different things when, when I'm... Well, in different conversations with people, I see a lot of things on the internet. Um, I don't do, I don't spend all day on the forums like I used to. Uh, I, I definitely don't really care about most of what's going on out there and, you know, the people who talk about things they have no clue about, I, I, I pretty much just discard those people and, um, you know, really focus on the ones that matter, the people who actually have solid information. Uh, so what I'm getting at is, I saw a couple things recently, and it's because people, when when people are talking about me or or something that I designed or a product or something like that, and there's a discussion about it, I they generally, peop, just random people just send me the link to things uh, just so that I can see what's going on. So if you're talking about me, then I, I generally will, will always know what's going on because most people just wanna start a fight anyway and that's just how the world works. Uh, but there are people who are actually trying to remedy a situation or tone it down before it gets in, you know, gets crazy. But my point specifically uh, was what I just mentioned is that people should have factual information before they start running their mouths. And every single thing, everything I bring to you guys on YouTube, through the internet, in other ways, with social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, I am not going to say a thing to you or about a situation that I do not have all of the information on. By the time you see the video and it is up about a specific topic, topic or whatever it is I wanna talk about, I already know about it. Like I've already done the research. I do my own due diligence and check it out. Google is not always the answer, but it's a, a very good help if you don't know what's going on or what you're talking about. Um, so, you know, my suggestion to you is if you don't have all the facts, you should shut up, period. But that's not going to, like me saying that is not going to fix it for the world. But um, I'm just saying, pay a little bit more attention to the facts before, or even do some simple math, which I've referred to before. Um, and you will see that what you're saying doesn't make any sense. You gotta use your brain, period. So the other part to this, since I've, I could go on a rant about, you know, how stupid people are on the internet, um, and it's not necessarily that the people are stupid, it's, it's that they don't think, they don't use enough, they don't have, they don't possess, enough common sense to know better than to just start running their mouths. 
Uh, and this goes for haters out there. It goes for you know people who are talking about detailing situations uh, and, and that kind of thing. Everybody wants to feel like they're a part of something. They want to feel, they want to put in their two cents worth. They want to add their opinion to everything. And that's fine. That's what this society has made happen for all of us on a daily basis. So the other part and the real reason for the video is the Gary Dean Wash method. And I guess where I'm at is I know that hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, lots of people are using the Gary Dean Wash method. Well, that's probably the smartest thing they could be doing. And, you know, again, I didn't invent the way to wash your car. Uh, what I did was I, I took some things that made a lot of sense and I put them in a, a I don't know if chronological order is the, the word, but I put them in a series lined up back to back in a way that makes the whole rinseless process far superior to prior methods and it's so, you know, we're at, we're on four years and it's still far superior to anything else that's going down. Um, and you know, why do I call it the Gary Dean Wash Method? Well, because I decided that I wanted to put that together and then say, hey, this is it. You have to call it something, so that's it. Uh, but anyway, specifically right now, I'm talking about people complain about how many towels that you have to use to wash a car. Now, just to let you know, I, I personally use roughly six towels to wash the paint on any given car, and I will generally use one black towel to do the wheels. So seven towels, six or seven towels, no more than eight towels generally uh, will I use for the Gary Dean wash method. Now, when I saw what I saw on the internet, it was a referral from a friend that wanted to say, hey, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Can you shed some light on it? So here I am shedding light on it because people are too lazy to do any homework to figure it out. So in true Gary Dean fashion, here's your crazy video giving you the answer since you guys didn't want to go figure it out. It's just like, it's like if you're having a conversation with someone on Facebook or whatever, on Messenger, and they're just like, uh, you're talking about a, a certain situation, and not necessarily something that's complicated, but something that's pretty simple, and they're like, send me a link, can you send me a link? No, I got other shit to do, I'm not going to send you a link. Google that shit yourself. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. It's do the simple math to figure out how much water it takes to wash the towels. Cause I heard people were talking about the Gary Dean wash method. It's not really saving water because you're, you're using more water in the wash process. First of all, you got to wash your towels anyway, period. You just have to wash more often when you use more towels. It's gonna, it is inevitable. You have to wash them. So, if you just do some simple math and use Google, you'll find that the average high efficiency washing machine uses about 25 gallons of water for you know a, a large load. Um, older ones would take far more than that, but if we just go by some of the newer stuff that's out there, because you know most people have relatively current washers and dryers, uh, and so um, if you take the the average like amount of water that current washing machines use and then you figure out how many towels you're putting into that load i can tell you that i can put roughly 300 towels in 25 gallons of water and there you go and some simple math will yield the answer to the question so if you take 25 which is 25 gallons of water and you divide 25 by 300 towels, which is how many I could get into there, um, you 
end up with 0 0.08. You multiply that by how many towels you get per wash, and that, you know, so 0 0.08 times six would equal, you're gonna use a half a gallon of water per car worth of towels that you do, if that makes any sense. Um, a half a gallon plus the one gallon it takes to do the car, you're still looking at a gallon and a half, probably inside two gallons to wash a car. How does that not make sense when it comes to being eco-friendly and saving water? Hmm, little simple math. Now, that's a just a random situation that I just came up with. Your situation may vary. Uh, your washing machine may vary. Um, the size of your microfibers may vary. I mean, all of that is just basic math. So I'm just trying to show you that some simple math can get you to a, a some kind of factual information and you can go from there. Bottom line is a half a gallon of water, one gallon of water, doesn't matter. So if you're at a gallon for the wash, you're at a half a gallon to wash the towels after the fact to make them clean again to do another car, you're still only at a, a gallon and a half for a car. That makes perfect sense. Now, I'm gonna throw a little bit of a hiccup into this situation. Being eco-friendly is just one part of it. The other cool factor and the real reason the Gary Dean wash method works so well is that you don't have to transport so much water. For the, for the detailer, that wants to really be efficient in his travels and save weight in his uh, detail rig, you don't have to carry as much water around. You literally could use a five gallon bucket and put about 50 towels in there and you are good to go. I mean, that's, that. I mean, you could get tons of cars done with, very little water, very little space. You don't have to carry around all this water, which is the main benefit is just being, um, you know, more thrifty on space and, uh, you know, aggravation and that kind of thing. Doesn't have to all be about being completely eco-friendly. Yes, that's part of it. Yes, I love being eco-friendly. I built a business around being eco-friendly and you know having no redundancy and, 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 and having fewer products than most companies and getting better results with those fewer products than these other companies having hundreds of products are getting. So I'm all about efficiency, whether it be with eco-friendliness or with just sheer headache. So that's kind of where I'm at guys is pay attention to what's going on. My math may not be 100% accurate. My point was not necessarily to give you pinpoint accuracy. It was so that you can see that it's really simple to get a good quality factual answer if you just do some research before you open your mouth, period. Anyway, bottom line is the Gary Dean wash method, yes, you use a gallon of water to wash the car, but you also have to wash the towels. Nobody's using 30 towels for this method. I'm using between six and eight towels every single time. Very seldom is there ever an exception to that. And so do your own math, look at your washing machine, figure out what it is gonna take. In fact, I, I I rarely even dry my towels, so I save that energy too. I actually hang them out to dry most of the time. So you're, you, you just need to think. You need to think about things before you talk about them online because you're confusing people that otherwise would be farther into what they're trying to do. The internet is good and it's bad. It's bad because of what I've been mentioning and people just won't stop talking about things when they really don't have factual information. So that's what I'm asking you guys to do is think about what you say because you're gonna confuse people 
and it's not worth it. It's worth taking the extra time and being that guy who has the answer online. That's it. Be that guy who has the answer, not the guy that just wants to post something because he can. He's got nothing better to do than run that mouth or type, whatever. Anyway, as usual, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. That's my cell phone number. Check out DetailJuice.com for my products. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about everything I've got going on. If you got questions about products, if you want to share your experiences, do a show and shine, whatever you want, or shine and show, whatever you want to call it, uh, be, everybody's there to be a community and help out with questions about the products and you know showing off the work that you get with it. Uh, and, and that's kind of where we're at. So please guys, do your own due diligence and do some research. Um, but the Gary Dean wash method is very popular for a reason. And that reason is it works. It works the best. It works every time. It's amazing.